Hey everyone, this is Mayur. Welcome to MLWorks. In this video, we'll learn about Python dictionaries and uh, let's get started. So first I'm declaring a uh, dict variable with the keyword dict and with empty parenthesis, which means I'm not uh, introducing any key value pair inside it. So I'll just run this cell. Okay. And I'm looking at the type of the particular dict variable. It is of type dict. Okay. And next I'm creating a separate uh, a small dictionary with uh, some key values like pen is equal to 10 and bag is equal to 250 colors is equal to a list of colors and then it's a boolean key and a floating key and corresponding you have values for that. Okay, so one thing to notice I have this combinations of what different data types here first is string data type I'm having floating point and then I have a boolean type and you can also have integer type but what you cannot have is you cannot have uh, data types like string uh, not string you can have data types like string but you cannot have uh, data types like uh, set tuple dictionary and list if you give those data types as your key inside a dictionary then it will throw an error called as unhashable type for example if i give a uh, key has list and some pass some values to it mm, then if I run this particular products, it will throw an error like unhashable type list. So you cannot hash uh, find a hash value for this list. Actually, this list what we have, right? List key. We cannot find a hashable value for this. That's why we get this error. And other values we have, right? True, colors, pen, bag, uh, 10.5. For all these, we have a hash value for each of those particular keys. So we can find the hash value using the keyword hash and pass the particular uh, value here and get the hash value for that particular key. Okay, for example, if I have 10.5 in the products, I have 10.5 as a key. Okay, so if I pass 10.5 here, it will give me some uh, random value, which is unique to that particular key value, key. Okay, so let's uh, run this thing. And okay, so we are getting this particular hash value for this particular floating point value. And for true, we have hash value of one and the products of true, which is uh, whose value is false. We get that printed here. And for 10.5 uh, products of 10.5, we have float and which is getting printed here. Okay. So now uh, we saw like uh, what can be keys and for values, you can have any kind of values. Okay. What I mean by any kind of values, for example, as I said, for keys, we have what string, integer, float, and boolean has these other data types which are acceptable. For values, you can have any of uh, any of the data types, including set, dictionary, uh, tuple, and list. All those can be your values inside a dictionary. Okay. So how can we fetch a value using a key? So I have a key here with value 10. So I can do products of pen it will give me the value as 10. Okay. And there will, might be some cases where you don't have a particular key and you try to hit that particular key. Okay. And it will throw an error. For example, uh, if I have products of though the products, uh, doesn't have a key called as note. Okay. And if I do uh, products of note, it will throw an error for me because there is no note key present inside products dictionary. Okay. So in such a case, what you can do is if you don't know if this key is present or not. So what you can do is you can get the particular value. Okay. Using dot get of note. Okay. It will not throw an error, but it will give you some other value which you can check. Okay. Which you can check and go ahead with your code. Okay. For instance, uh, if I do a note here, dot get of note, it will not throw an error. Okay, it will throw none, I guess, yeah, so none. The value none is given. Uh, if you do it using dot get of note, and if you give it a pen rate, it will similarly, it will give uh, what value of 10 here also. So next is we'll see how to iterate through the key value pairs inside a dictionary. So for that, we have to use a dot items function, and then we have to what, uh, Extra, extract those keys and values as mentioned here for k comma v in products dot items will be extracting key values from the particular dictionary. Okay, the key is pen and value is 10 and correspondingly for bag we have colors we have this list 
similarly for true on 10.5 okay and if you want to what uh, remove particular uh, key from your uh, dictionary you can do something called as products.pop and it will remove that particular uh, key from your dictionary so this particular value key value is removed let's check uh, products on this one okay now the true is not present earlier true was present once i did the pop the true value uh, true key is removed along with its value which is false okay now let's see find a common between two dictionaries uh, consider we have two dictionaries here a and b and there are some values which are common between them uh, which is phi f and all of the values are different when i say value i mean key value pair both okay i mean shall i running those to the cell and using this one like a a dot keys and b dot keys which this will give us what is common between these two dictionaries okay uh, and here i have a dot keys minus b dot keys which will give us keys in a that are not in b okay so it will give us probably uh, x x y and z let's see let's see yeah okay let's see okay z is also present right so yeah okay it's not giving so f is also present so yeah so if you see here finding keys that are common so here z is present here also z is present so it is common to both f is also present in both so that's why we are getting the common keys in a and b are z and f using and value we are finding it out and if you want to find what is not common among them you can use hyphen uh, hyphen or minus sign this is a minus sign actually okay and you will find out uh, x and y because you are like minusing this from this and f from f okay that's why you are getting x and y okay that's it if i do what the uh, b and then if i do a here i will probably get uh, w and a as my common keys in so i have to remove oh, this particular statement is wrong here mm. keys in b okay for this particular statement it is keys in b that are not in a that are not in a okay yeah so we got w and a okay now this is with respect to what keys okay based on keys alone actually so we are just checking in terms of keys it has values also okay so now what we'll do is finding key value pairs in common uh, for instance here z the key is common but the value is different it has 2 it has 3 but for key f both uh, key value is same it is also f it is also f whose value is 9 here also it is 9 okay so we can find out common key value pairs in common okay for that we have to do dot items it will take both key values okay so f comma 9 is the only common pair which is present both in terms of key and value it is common in both next we see create a new dictionary from existing dictionary with one element removed okay so this is one common element okay if you want to remove that we can iterate through the keys and remove that particular element and we can see that and create a new dictionary based on that okay once we remove that particular uh, word the common element what is the dictionary present this is for e alone okay this is we are creating a new dictionary using a dictionary a, a dictionary okay now we'll do some uh, mathematical calculations on dictionaries so here i am creating a dictionary with uh, three keys and three values and also another dictionary with uh, two keys and two values and let's see what happens here and using zip function we compare the values in cupel and then key if values are same then key takes over okay okay so what happens is here using zip first we are comparing the stock prices dot values we are comparing based on the values okay if the values are same okay then we will be uh, when the values are same we will be looking for uh, based on the keys 
okay which is greater or minimum okay so first is maximum we are trying to find out maximum and then we want to find out the minimum and then we have to find out uh, when the stock prices are same so here i think this will be goes to the prices part right where the stock prices are same okay so how it will fetch it will be based on the keys then okay uh, min and max okay let's see let's run this first and then run this one okay let's see now look at the results and look at the dictionary now okay we have stock prices and the max price is 100 based on the value okay and min uh, it is also based on the value we have and we are printing the corresponding uh, keys okay and then find min when stock prices are same okay so these values the stock prices are same okay so how to find the min okay for that uh, we are using this particular statement min zip of prince prices dot values so why it has taken this uh, the triple a right because uh, it is going by what uh, it is going by this alphabetical order right okay based on that it is giving us this value now okay if i uh, if i do uh, triple c my max will be uh, triple c then okay so 34.5 i'm running this again okay so if you see here the max is changed to 34.5 this is the max because uh, once the values are similar okay the keys takes precedence over the values then Okay, that's what it's written here if values are same the keys takes over keys will be used for uh, finding out which is the highest or lowest value now we are sorting the stock prices using sorted uh, command keyword and zip is what again for uh, us sorting out the keys and values here it will zip it okay dot values dot keys let's see so probably this will also sort based on the values first okay so by default sorted will be like what uh, it will be on the increasing order so 65 67 and 100 okay and i guess we also have another uh, keyword here right reverse yeah reverse is equal to true if i give and probably it will be zero the first then yeah okay so it will be uh, sorting the values based on uh, each of those keys as values sorting that and if you have any of those values which are similar okay like grow and abstracts are 65 then grow will be coming at the top uh, in the decreasing order uh, for the increasing order grow will be coming at the top because it is starts with g and this starts with u okay let's do find key corresponding to the min max values uh, this is again the same thing uh, we are just finding out the keys of particular uh, based on the value of those uh, particular key we are identifying the keys alone we are taking out the keys out okay so minimum value is stock uh, the stock price of upstocks is 65 so whose uh, whose key is upstocks the value is 65 and uh, the name of the stock is upstocks and for maximum you have what 100 and uh, that is zero the so that's why it's getting printed max of stock prices key lambda so this will be used okay this particular statement will help us in what fetching it out that particular stock out now what we'll do is dictionary comprehension this is similar to what list comprehension widely used okay first we are declaring a uh, dictionary of prices we have bunch of stocks and corresponding prices here and finding stocks with price greater than 200 so what we are doing here is we are iterating over key values of the particular dictionary and we are checking if the value is greater than 200 if it is 200 then we are uh, fetching it out that particular key and value out so here we have only ibm has 205 so let's see let's run let me run this first and then run this yeah so you have 200 okay sorry i missed it out this apple stock right to fix and tool okay which is also greater than 200 so we are getting apple and ibm and make a dictionary of tech stocks so here if we see here uh 
for key value for we are iterating through the key values of the dictionary and if the key okay uh, that is the prices whatever we see here in this prices okay all these keys we are iterating through these keys and if any of these values are already present in any of the tech names okay then they are tech companies or tech stocks if uh, any of these values are not present in the tech names then those are not tech non tech stocks so all these three values are uh, HPQ is not a tech stock and all of the three values IBM Apple and FB are tech stocks okay so here uh, another way to we are also updating a dictionary here so using prices dot update uh, we are adding FB okay we are updating our uh, dictionary here using update command 78 oh i guess we have earlier we had some 10.75 here now it is 78 okay so we have seen some uh, few commands in dictionary and now i'll talk about default dictionary so what default dictionary this is consider you have a dictionary with some key and values and you want to want find out uh, some new key which you are not sure if it is present or not inside your dictionary so what you can do is use default dictionary and if you uh, pass a particular uh, val key okay we are whose value we don't we are not sure if it is present or not so you can use default dictionary what it will do is instead of throwing an error like key error that particular key is not present inside the dictionary what it will do is it will create an uh, a new key inside the dictionary okay for instance let's see uh, i'm creating a dictionary here uh, default dict with set okay of type set so num is equal to add 10 it will create a dictionary with num as key and it will store uh, a set of values which are 10 20 30 and then again i am creating a uh, dictionary okay not dictionary another key with value a now if i run this okay okay first let me what run this particular cell and let's see now i have these two set of keys here now if i try to what access a key which is not already present inside d okay for instance gas okay if i do that it will not throw an error okay because by default dictionary what it will do is it will give some uh, default value to this particular key okay now if you go and check d you will see key gas has one key with empty empty set okay that is one of the very benefit of what using a default dictionary uh, it will not give you an error if you try to access a key which is not already present inside your dictionary so we have seen a bunch of stuff here okay and what i would suggest is you can run through this uh, dictionary notebook which i'll be sharing in github and probably you can connect with me on telegram or discord and we can have a chat on this if you have any clarifications required on dictionary data structure Thank you.